Hello, Sestra, brother. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Dusty Mac, and thank you for joining me on this TV reaction series tonight. It's 2.30 in the morning right now, and I'm just kind of finishing up Orphan Black until uh, the Book of Boba Fett drops at 3 a.m. I kind of just want to jump right into this episode, but you know what happened last time. Uh, Helena became a doctor and figured out how to artificially inseminate a human being. Not only did she get the gender wrong, but she also got the orifice wrong, and uh, that guy had a very poor end of life. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. And then she literally burned the Prolethean uh, barn down to the ground. Did that guy die? Who knows? Maybe. I'm going to kind of guess so. And if he didn't, I'm sure he wish he was dead. <laughs> then, of course, uh, Rachel pretended to be Sarah and stole Kira from the hospital. So I am just really excited to jump into this season two finale of Orphan Black. I'm kind of nervous because we only have three seasons left. And I know that still seems like a lot of TV, but it's not enough. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's it's not enough Orphan Black. And I'm probably going to end up reading the comic books or whatever they did post season five so anyway guys if you like this reaction please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and hit that little bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out which is usually every monday wednesday and friday and i also do bonus videos and stream hardly ever and if you guys want to support the channel financially the venmo and the patreon is down below and without any further ado let's just jump right into orphan black this one is season two episode 10 by means which have never yet been tried let's finish it Sarah turned herself in immediately. I shouldn't know. Have you ever used intravenous drugs? Sexual... I thought it was you. She looked like you. She was with... Have you ever been diagnosed with a reproductive disorder? No. Have you ever had an abortion? Yeah. Have you ever been diagnosed with mental illness? Do you use birth control? Sometimes, yeah. I don't know who size you're on. I know you always put Kira first. And um, we'll do that now. Sarah, you've got to Sarah? My name is Sarah Manning, and this is my unconditional surrender. Jesus Christ. Like, obviously, they have her daughter, so she's going straight to the belly of the beast. My name is Dr. Nealon. Nice to see you again. Again? Our first encounter, I thought you were Beth Childs. You examined me in my sleep. You began menstruation very young. I want to see my kid. Cure is fine. You have my word. <laughs> what does that even mean? Come on, honey. It won't hurt. It's just cotton. Is that the same? Please? That's the woman that Helena pushed up against the wall, isn't it? The one that was hitting that little girl? Ha <laughs> ha Hell yeah, Kira. Hello. Was that Cal? And your transplant is being booked. The marrow is being sent directly to Dr. Newland, your new physician. This is all on Rachel's orders. Effective immediately, you'll no longer be working with clones. And if I refuse, you'll be on the plane. You used me. Let me say goodbye to Cosima. Cosima will be well cared for, and Sarah's procedure is imminent. They're not using her like they're using Helena. Obviously, it's the same fucking organization. Because of that nurse, right? No one is more familiar with her illness than Delphi. She'll get the best possible care. This is not the debate, Mr. Smith. Can you tell Dr. Nealon that I am really excited to work with him? Maybe if I can't see Sarah, then I can see Kira. Be a nice gesture. I'll see what I can do. You should really leave. But they're planning something for Sarah. Delphine just sent me Rachel's itinerary. We would like to harvest your eggs. Well, I would like to see my daughter. Sign consent to the procedure, and I will make that happen. Do I really need to sign? <laughs> Does that really matter? Bureaucracy. <laughs> Take me to a can only watch her you can't actually like interact with why are you comfortable is my mom here yet soon last time i saw your mother she laid hands on me it means she wasn't very nice to me and then she kept running away just as she ran from you so many times did that make you sad yeah she says she's all grown up now even mothers have to do as they're told don't they <laughs> oh, damn, Rachel. She's got, like, some bite. Whoever she's talking to, she gives them, like, a look, and it's just, like, cuts to their core. Hey, I'm Cal. I'm uh, Kira's father. <laughs> I can vouch for him. You don't even tell me. Oh, yes, let's do open a Royal Kingdom about <laughs> keeping secrets. Sarah never told me anything, okay? I just, I just kind of figured it out. I'm here to help. I did a lot of digging on Diane. I just came home to find someone at my table. What do you mean, who? She's eating. <laughs> Hello, Sestra, brother. <laughs> Hello, Sestra, brother. Do not tell her about Sarah. She is too unpredictable. 
keep feeding her art. All right, I'm going to be there as soon as I can. Duncan. Don't despair, my dear. <laughs> They dropped all pretenses, haven't they? They're just straight up prisoners now. But they signed consent, so it's fine. Fell in love with a boy. After birth, I think he had to go to war and become a tow truck driver. <laughs> there was a fire at the Johansson Ranch last night. Do you know anything about that? No. Helena. <laughs> Did you burn down the fish people's ranch? No. <laughs> It's so adorable and psychotic, but so adorable. Became roommates to a very good girl. She had a crisis of faith. What's done is done, Gracie. Am I a sinner for wishing my father dead? He deserved it. God's just gonna have to deal with the both of us then. That means the child inside you too. Is she gonna keep it or? Super PACs and research groups and lobbyists. Someone from Diet tried to hack me. I hacked them back. I followed this person on Darknet. They had real information. They know I'm Kira's father. I think this is an insider. Paul, it's Paul. They already have Kira. <clears throat> and yet, this person is still here. Tell him you're Witcher Vaughn Sadler. It's with a BH. Sorry about that. Not how I thought her name was going to be spelled at all. <laughs> Does that mean anything to you? Don't know your mythology, do you, Cal? Luckily, you're not the only person with an inside man. I thought it was like S-H-A-V-A-W-N or A-U-N or something. Not Siobhan. <laughs> Must be a really British name. I've literally never heard of it before or seen that spelling. Because it's kind of like Jeff with G-E-O-F-F, -F, you know? It's, it's weird. Damn, some inside men. <laughs> Paul. Who are still prepared to play double agent. I'll be impressed if you can actually pull this off. His beret's kind of chewed up, I'm not going to lie, but TV shows hardly ever get the beret right. I loved wearing a beret. A lot of people hated it. I hated it in the summer, but I loved wearing that beret. I brought tea. Just hot water for me. Brought my own bag. Oh. <laughs> Do you remember this day? As often as possible. Had it not been for your synthetic sequences, you've encoded them with a non-repeating substitution cipher. Why would you deny existence to more of us? Unlock another, and we'll talk about curing Cosima. None of us know what you're actually for. I think your attempts to make new clones should meet with failure. I want the key to your cipher. I've had 20 years to work on it. It's rather good. <laughs> My dear, I didn't write it down. You know I can recite pi to 6,000 places. Damn. 3.14159263. That's all I can do. Oh, what? What have you done? Did he kill himself? My poor, poor Rachel. No! No! You won't take How did he get those past security? You can't leave me again! No! I'm afraid you don't deserve me any. I'm pretty sure the answer is in the Island of Dr. Moreau book. Fuck. This should be interesting. It's Gary's father. <laughs> ah, you're a friend of Sarah's. Just look at the two of you. <laughs> How she does it. How the fuck do you always have, like, two good-looking girls who want you? <laughs> we are hoping that there are still good people in the most corrupt places. <gasps> the monitor, Paul Dearden. Yeah, I think I know who you are. We're both willing to risk our necks to get to the bottom of this. You guarantee that Sarah and her daughter will be released and protected. I could get them out. The rest is up to Sarah. What files are those? What did they have to offer? I don't understand. What? <laughs> you want to do some science? Push your favorite pencil through this paper. Oops. You know what? You need more force. So force equals mass times pew, acceleration. How can we get the pencil through this paper, do you think? What are they planning here? Trying speed. <laughs> nice one. You won science. <laughs> hey, oh, 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 I'm okay. See, it's not going to work. <laughs> It has to work. Hey, let me do this. We're only gonna get one chance. What yeah, are you gonna good. do? Kasima says, hey, we're gonna help you get out of here. We're removing one of your ovaries for research. That's not what I signed. We don't wish to render you infertile. Hope you look forward to another pregnancy as much as we do. I'd like a second to speak to my sister, please. Hey, everybody out. Kira gave me something for you. She also gave her bone marrow. 
Duncan is dead. He took his own life, but I know he gave you the key to the synthetic sequences, didn't he? He wrote them down for you. I don't know. Enjoy your oophorectomy. We will continue this when you're done. Rachel, I'll tell you. Where has he written it? Right here. Oh, God damn it! In her fucking eye! In her fucking eye! Get Kira. Oh! <laughs> Ready. You're free to go. You don't have to run. <laughs> she didn't have to do that to Rachel. I mean, I'm sure she wanted to. If you ever want to stop running, if you want the truth, if you want to know what this is really all about, then you meet me tomorrow. Do I trust her? Do I not? I, I don't know. Do I care? No. I'm just going to keep watching. <laughs> nice to meet you. She's blind. <laughs> Pretty standard group of sisters. I want to help with Kira getting the marrow and stuff. I don't think we can do that again for another six weeks. Yeah, Rachel deserved that for breaking all that blood marrow vials. Oh, hello. You're not gonna be bringing all that game into my bed, I hope. Clones only tonight. That means me too. I'm still holding on to that theory that he's uh, a triplet. Art has someone downstairs who really wants to meet her sisters. Oh, shit. Helena, this is your sister. You should not be up. I'm up. Come here. <laughs> I like your hairs. <laughs> I like your hairs too. This is your other sister, Alison. Lovely to meet you. Pleased to meet you too. <laughs> you are married? Yes, to Donny. I will be married too. Well, it's very rewarding if you can get through the rough patches. I don't think she's gonna have a happy ending. That doesn't matter right now though. We thought you ran away from us. I came back to see your little face. <laughs> <laughs> she all right? Yeah. Can the end episode just end here? Like, it's all happy right now. Something not good is gonna happen soon. <laughs> She's like, I want to dance. <laughs> How many body doubles does Tatiana have? Because it's not just the main one then, right? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Elena. Oh, what's gonna happen? I don't. I, this is too happy. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is not where Kasima dies. I'm still vibing. I'm still happy. Nothing's bad. Oh god, oh god, that was like the most tense of the show has ever been. It was just, it was too much happiness for this show to have that prolonged, but that was just a genuinely pure moment of happiness, and I'm sure that's probably rare in this show. What were you thinking about? Sacred geometry. The golden ratio. The a mathematical inspired. pattern that just repeats itself in nature. Flower petals and the stars in the galaxy. Every molecule of our DNA. God, it was so different, all of us. Yeah. I don't even know how to look at odds. Don't tell me. You're the wild type, Sarah. You propagate against all odds. You survive. Can't do this without you, Kasima. You'll be fine. You just have to keep moving forward. Give Kasima the book. Kira, you have to have the book, right? Those are all her eggs. <laughs> Is she going after Jesse? That's not even his real. What did I fucking say? Things were too happy. It couldn't stay that way for very long. Who was it though? Was it the Prolethians out for revenge? I'm sure they had to have microchipped her, right? I mean, like, they're pretty invasive. I doubt they'd stop there ethically. Andy Kasima? Don't. Don't tell me we're gonna lose Kasima this Kasima. episode. That's fucking stupid. They're so close. Andy Kasima! Story? <sighs> I did not like that. Hey. Are you hiding? Is that Charlotte? It's Sarah. Your Don't sister? be shy, love. Come on. Is that her as a child? Like a clone? You know her. 
It, uh, and that's, you're my big sister. That's really good casting. How old are you? Eight. I have a daughter your age. Her name is Kira. I'm her cousin. And actually. Oh my god. Our dog was the first dog to make the long journey west. Can we read it, Mother? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Yes! Island of Dr. Moreau. About a man who makes monsters. It's special. You should have started with that, Kira. You haven't had any idea how little time she has? Professor Duncan gave it to me for a present. <laughs> oh. She's gonna survive. She's gonna survive. She's gonna survive. Are you her monitor? She's gonna survive. I'm her mother. Like Siobhan, I'm invested. Over 400 attempts. Charlotte's the only survivor. Against all odds, you found your sisters and you fought for your own. Now, I'm counting on that fierce loyalty because what I'm about to share could put me at grave personal risk. We steer the dyad group. Genetic engineering, synthetic biology. There are other forces at work beyond Topside. Please. God damn it, where are they gonna send her? Never shut down Project Lita. It was compartmentalized into two autonomous operations. Dyad carried female clones. A military faction carried the males. <laughs> so there are male clones. This is Project Caster. Project Caster? If it's Felix, I'm gonna lose my shit. If it's Felix, I'm I gonna lose it. my shit. Or is it Vic? Is it Vic? <laughs> oh my God, if it's Vic. Sarah will never forgive. You did what you had to. And do you, Mark, promise to be faithful to Grayson? I do. You may kiss the bride. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. It's the Prolethean. Oh, my God. I didn't think it was gonna be him, honestly, because he wasn't really treated as special by that uh, that dude in the in the barn. Damn! All right, everybody, that was the season two finale of Orphan Black. That one was season two, episode ten, by means which have never yet been tried. That one made me really uneasy towards the middle of it. Uh, you know, all the clones were together, they're celebrating, just dancing, having a good time, just living in the moment, which. It's very hard to do in this show just because of how fast everything moves. Uh, the reason I was so nervous is because usually that means something bad is going to happen. And of course, I don't even know why Helena was going on a walk or whatever. But luckily she did tuck her embryos away. But she got nabbed by uh, Paul's people, the military. And, you know, Mrs. S turning on Sarah to turn her in. Maybe, maybe that was like the trade-off to get Sarah and Kira out. Because like, you know, Mrs. S said, she'll do anything for Kira. Where are they going to send Helena now? Like, it looked like they're getting ready to send her back to Siberia or some shit. Obviously, they're going to be running tests and torturing her, basically, because she is pregnant now. And damn. Then also that big drop at the end where there is also male clones, like I kind of called it. I'm still kind of holding out that maybe Felix is a male version of, of Sarah's clone batch, possibly. But there is another clone batch from Project Lita, and this is the, uh, the caster. The caster brood i guess we can call them then it was mark from the prolethians so again i don't think that guy knew that mark was a clone because if he did he wouldn't have treated him well i guess maybe that's why he did approve them to marry grace maybe that was also reason why he didn't want him to have a natural baby with grace i don't know it, it this this finale definitely felt a little more subdued than the last one um, just because it ended, that last one ended on like such like a, oh my god what's gonna happen this one it feels like things just started falling apart but out of that chaos we did get a little ray of hope because uh kira was like i need you to read me a book auntie kasima and uh what was it it was the island of dr moreau and kasima immediately saw what she had in her hands so she's definitely making it to another season i'm, I'm manifesting that kasima is going to cure herself pretty quickly because uh she has the book she has the code scott did make that that program to decipher the code so Maybe that's going to help them as well. Yeah, that was just a really exciting episode all throughout, and it made me nervous in a lot of parts as well. And, of course, you know, that altercation when Sarah was escaping, and she uh, had that makeshift, like, blow dart that <laughs> shot that pencil into Rachel's eye. Um, I, you, I know you guys are anticipating that, because you know how much I hate eye gouges and just shit that happens with the eyes. Um uh, 
and I know that did not disappoint. But I don't think that killed her. I think she's alive and she's just going to be a little more angry next season. <laughs> So anyway, guys, what did you think of that season finale of Orphan Black? Let me know in the comment box down below. And if you liked my reaction, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And hit that bell in the corner because it'll tell you when my next video comes out, which is usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We also do some bonus videos and stream hardly ever. And if you guys want to support the channel financially, the Venmo and the Patreon is down below. And uh, I guess that's going to be about it for this season. Right now, I'm actually going to go and watch this week's episode of Boba Fett because it's 3.30. Uh, so anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. You know I appreciate every single one of you. And remember, if you're going to go outside, wear a mask, don't be an ass, and I will see you next week with Season 3 of Orphan Black. Take it easy, guys.